Hey guys, what is up? It is Baruka's Best Waifu here, and today we're going to be doing another episode of Unit Build Reviews, which is going to be my weekly series on where you guys have to send me stuff, like, through your builds of units that you want me to showcase right here on my channel, and um, hopefully you guys get in, and I'll leave links to your aminos, obviously, in the description below, so then you get the proper credit. I'm your host, Baruka here, and um. I am unfortunately not joined in by anyone else, it's just me today because I'm pretty sure Dash might be busy and I don't want to disrupt him. I, I also wanted to try a solo so I want to see how it goes. But tell me in the comments below if you prefer having Dash on here with me. If not then that's alright but just leave in the comments below if you want Dash in future videos obviously so. Without further ado I want to say thanks to each and every one of you from Amino. For sending me your unit builds, uh, I really appreciate it. I really didn't expect to get sent so many. Also, go away, Monica. Okay, anyway, like I didn't expect to get so many actual units sent to me, and it was kind of overwhelming. I mean, like holy crap, a lot of people. So um, I only picked one unit from the people who sent me multiples. So because I mean I can't review them all, but I'll get to them eventually. So uh, without further ado, we're going with the first one. Oh shit! Look at me. Alright, here we go, going with the first one. Uh, here, we, our first up right here, we got, um, our Amino user 50, or as I like to know him before, 50 Shades of Grey. He has a great profile picture, and he sent me his Hianta. And we're gonna take a qu uh, close look at him. Alright, from what I can tell here, he really seems to love, really seems to love Hianta, as considered by the S rank summoner support, and he's 5 star. Normally, Normally, to me, I wouldn't be, con I wouldn't consider Hianta a good unit. I mean, he's underwhelming at best. In all honesty, yeah, but that's in my opinion. Um, he told me that the blue marks mean that he got buffed by four, so everything is subtracted by four. So with that, that means he has 70 HP, which is insane, which is actually almost as much as Aiden. Uh, one, two, three, four. 48 attack. 26 speed, 42 defense, and 1, 2, 3, 4, and 17 res, so his res is pretty high, his attack is pretty high, so I imagine he's probably plus attack, minus res or something, which I believe is actually pretty good IVs, or maybe it's plus defense, because I mean, with high defense is actually actually makes him kind of a tank so and it looks like he gave him wood out plus with the defense with the defense uh, thing on it uh, swap vengeance HP plus 5 wrath 3 and infantry plus 3 and squad ace a3 so that means that gives him a lot of HP so right off the bat I can tell you made him to be a bruiser a defender bruiser and by, by that, I mean, like, he is sent in there to attack high and also on player phase, he can hit hard. And uh, and then the enemy phase, he's a defender, so that means he's a really good tank against heavy stuff. So he's basically, like, up there with Baruka, which is pretty cool. But, I mean, like, unfortunately, he has horrible res and speed, so that means a, well, a good mage... A good mage can actually take him out pretty quickly, or someone who has like triangle, triangle advantage over him. So honestly, vengeance. I mean, like, I think I would change vengeance because um, I say maybe give him something like bonfire or something. Because I mean, he has that really high defense there, and bonfire he would really benefit. He will really benefit from bonfire because vengeance just adds stacks up to damage from the more damage he takes, but. From, from his defense, if you plan to use him as a physical tank, he's not going to take a lot of damage, so really, Vengeance won't make a lot of sense. Um, HP 5 is actually pretty good, because then he's going to keep up his HP. Uh, Wrath 3 is pretty good, too, because then with, like, because whenever his special activates, he gets a, like, a stronger special. So basically, double Wuda. You basically have him with double Wuda. Double Wuda. So, uh, and also, Swap, I mean, that's good. It's for resting, but repossession's good, so then, like, uh, he can, like, move someone behind him so he can swap. Cause what if it's, like, someone who's ranged? Then someone can hit, like, the person behind it that he wants to just reposition, so he, then he can move away. Which is pretty good. And Infantry Pulse 3, so that means that he can fill up his thing faster, so, uh, Squad Ace for more AP. Um, Alright, this is a really solid Hyanta build. 
I believe it's a really good build. You made him to be out of really physical tank. But not much of a res, but like still he's a really good physical tank. Oh, oh never mind, I thought he's plus HP minus res. Never mind. Never mind. Well anyway, uh, the one thing I would definitely change is maybe change Vengeance to Bonfire. Because Bonfire will work really well with his high defense. And you, the higher the defense, the better Ignis or Bonfire work. So like, cause Vengeance it really depends on how much damage he can do. Cause there might be some times where he won't be able to do damage, so I believe just go with Bonfire, then that gives him some guaranteed damage. And chain swap to reposition, so then like you can reposition someone out of there, so then and then the unit that got repositioned can move out of the way from the range. So that's my opinion, but anyway, thank you, Fifty Shades of Grey, for your Hianta build. It's a really amazing build. Uh, if you you don't have to take my advice. I mean, it's honestly up to you if you want to switch it out. But if this is what you were happy with, and I'm perfectly fine with it. And thank you, thank you for sending me this Hianta. All right, next up we got Corin. Co we got Corin the Slayer. He's a really good, really loyal, really good friend of mine from Amino and from my streams. Uh, he's pretty cool. Uh, he sent me his his uh, Makaya, and uh, from what I can tell here, he he is like uh, really loves Makaya because I mean look at this the summoner support S S for wind wind blessing and um and here we got uh, 40 HP, 51 attack, 26 speed, 23 defense, and 40 res and a lot of stuff so heavy blade. Uh, sorry, I need to take a drink. Um, all right. So right off the bat, I could tell this is a really good mage tank, just due to her really high res. She's like up there with like my Christmas star Joe, who has like 41 res. So she's she's up there, and plus with this, this makes her 46 res. So that's good. That's good. And I see you gave him um, Tony the sacrifice iceberg. Oh yeah, iceberg is good, especially with the low cooldown. This in defense three, amazing. Vantage three, good. So then she can strike back mages. Drive attack two. I don't. Know, I guess for supporting. Heavy blade one. I. Oh, yeah. Now I mean the IVs from what I can tell. I think it's uh. I think it's minus. Ten. No plus attack. It's like plus attack. Or something. Or no, I think it looks like it's res. Res and stuff, so like, um... So anyway, yeah, anyway, back to that. I'm sorry that I'm rambling on, it's just that, like, sometimes I kind of talk and it's hurting my voice. I need to pull up the... I need to pull up the IV calculator. <coughs> I'm sorry, that was a sneeze. Um, you know what, never mind. I guess the, these these are pretty good. I mean, my like mage tank, 40 HP. Um, uh, I can see this is a really good build for her, especially when you know she's a really good mage. She's actually like one of the best mages in the game that she's in right now, and that makes her a valuable asset, especially with distant defense three. Cause holy crap, that makes her res 246, and that makes her a rage tank. Uh, ma mage tank, so which is good. I mean, especially when there's a lot of powerful mages out there, like um, Sanaki, uh, uh, who else? Nino. Anyway, um, I really wouldn't change anything here, like honestly. But maybe, like, maybe I don't know. Like, give uh, her if you if you're using her support, I guess. Drive attack is good, but I mean, you try giving her, I don't know, like threaten res. So then, like, now she'll be even more stronger, especially so then with lower res, she'll be even more stronger and get killed faster. Heavy Blade 1, I think you're probably gonna upgrade that, which is, I think, is really good. She has some high attack, so she can get rid of some of the weaker mages and activate her proper special more. But you gotta always be careful with the people who have higher attack than her. Anyway guys, um, with this, this is actually a really solid Makaya build, I like it a lot, this is really good. The one thing I would change, obviously, maybe Thran Res, and this is pretty good, so solid build overall, thank you Corin. Uh, we're gonna move on to the next one, so thank you again. Uh, we got, next next up is Eden from Amino. And uh, he, he slash she, I'm not assuming genders, sent me his uh, smash announcer, Bow Guy, which is Ignis. 
and for my so he has like a 35 HP, 50 attack, 34 speed, 17 res, and 37 res. And he has ne Neghog, uh, Drawback, Iceberg, Fury 3, Desperation 3, Threaten Speed 3, and Distant Defense 3. So from what I can tell, you made him obviously to be a mage tank, because that's what he was made for in the first place, honestly. He he can take taken down by melee units like really easily, especially if you can outspeed him. And like, I see you gave him uh, Iceberg, Fury, Desperation, Threat, Speed, which is uh, oh, which is good. I believe it's good. Resme, you just gotta watch out for him from physical attacks, cause they can obviously kill him. Um, uh, I really wouldn't change much here. Like, I know, I mean, like drawback is kind of annoying. I suggest maybe like, I don't know, like reposition. Like, okay, I'm always gonna recommend you reposition. The reposition is like a really, really good skill to have. It's like, honestly, you can get your units out of jams really quickly. And uh, from Fury 3, looks like you made him even more stronger to give him 50 attack, which is like, pretty good. Uh, Desperation 3, perfect for when he goes low, perfect with his low HP, because the lower the HP, the more easier it is to proc Desperation. Threat Speed, so then you can guarantee Desperation on them, especially if you're right next to them. And Distant Defense 3, so then like, he can tank mages way better than before and might have some survivability in defense especially if he's attacked if he's attacked on the enemy phase so this in this really not i really wouldn't change anything about this this one's also pretty good too like, but the one thing obviously would be like reposition this drawback is kind of annoying and it only just draws him back doesn't he? like they can you can probably get him out of range but then there's still the possibility that they can still get hit Ah, so overall, thank you Eden for your in this. It's a really good in this, like here. Um, I wish I gotten him. I never gotten him. I just, can, I just see him as a smash announcer, to be honest, really. Because that's who he's voiced by. But thanks again for sending me your unit here. I'll see you next time, and hopefully you subscribe to this channel or something. I don't know. Come on, please subscribe. All right, next we got. Oh God, how long has this video been going? Okay, uh, we got Earard. Ear, uh, ear hard. I'm just gonna call him hard. Um, he sent me his, he or she sent me the his merce. He or she is the Marissa they have. Um, I can tell that they Marissa is actually a really good unit, really good sword unit, really. And she's voiced by Connor Kelly, so she's like super awkward, which is funny. Anyway, like 54 HP, which is a lot. 47 attack, which is good. Um. 42 speed, uh, 33 defense, and 24 res. So, and you given her, given her the wood out plus with the speed refinement, which makes her even faster. She's like probably up there with Arya with the plus speed IBs. Drawback, Moonbow, Fury three, Fury three, Desperation three, Infantry plus three, and HP plus three. So, from what I can tell this build, you built her to basically get in there and get out of there fast. Because she is fast as hell and she can hit hard as fast too. Especially when she triggers Desperation. But like, I don't know Desperation would work because I mean, she has already really high HP. Which is a really amazing for a sword unit actually. That is a lot of HP for a sword unit. Especially of an infantry one. So like, um, honestly, I don't see... I don't see like uh, Desperation 3 working really well for her because she's already, it's gonna take her a while to proc that. So um, maybe, I don't know, like give her something like Vantage because then she can hit back with her Moonbow, especially when it's ready. Since she already has really high HP, so I believe maybe change change um, B to Vantage or something. But if you want to keep Desperation, that's perfectly fine because then that would just keep her there. Uh, Moonbow is pretty good too, especially with the bonus damage that it combines with Wudao, so it makes her even more powerful. Drawback, I guess, is good, I guess, but I mean, Reposition is always better. Infiltrate Pulse, she comes with that already, and she's actually really good with that. She's like one of the few characters with that. The only other characters that I know that has Infiltrate Pulse is probably Summer Xander. So she's honestly, I think, the second unit to have it. I'm not sure. But overall, this Marissa is pretty good. I like. I really like this Marissa. It's. I, I actually wish I could build mine like this. I'm pretty sure maybe I'll build mine like this. So um, yeah, be on the lookout. But anyway, yeah. Thank you again, hard for your Marissa. I really appreciate it. I hope to see you guys in the next one.
All right, next we got. Oh my God, how we have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, okay. Nine. Okay, here we go. Okay, okay. Uh. Oh God. Okay, so and this is sent by M on Amino again. Thank you, M, for your sending me your Roy, and I can tell from your profile picture and when I went to your profile to get your link to put for the description below, you really love Roy. Like, I, I said, like, really love him. I mean, you, you basically have him on the merge of being plus 10. I, so, obviously, I can't tell his IVs since uh, he's already too high up. But from what I could tell, you really love this. I mean, like, 54 attack, HP, 57 H attack, 38 speed, 32 defense, 35 res. You gave him wood out plus with the plus attack thing. Uh, reposition, oh, good. Aether, good. Fury, 3, good. Renewal, 3 is good. Um, Thren, re Thren speed is good, Heavy Blade 3, so, oh my god, dude, this, this guy can kill. This guy will fucking kill you, honestly, like, Jesus Christ, that is, like, really high attack, especially with, um, Heavy Blade, when he strikes fast, he's double, so that means he can charge it up, like, so extremely quick. So, you built this Roy to be, like, insanely strong and fast. I mean, like, honestly, look, he's, like, really all around, he's, all his, um, all the stats reach actually 30, which is like pretty good. That's actually a really good thing. It's not below 30, because below 30 would mean that they can have a high chance of dying. But this is like an all-around character. Like really, this guy can be used for anything. It's basically like that. Um, that I don't know what the guy, the YouTuber's name, but he uses a plus 10 Roy to do grand hero battles with. It's basically like that, except he has the Zambato, which is like Gray Sword. And, uh, yeah, so, like, honestly, this, this build is amazing. Like, holy shit, man, you really love Roy. I, I wonder if you're gonna do this, the same thing to the Valentine's Roy. Because, oh my god, imagine a monster Valentine's Roy. Probably even outclassing Lin, except in speed. But, Aether's good, skill, reposition, really have no complaints about this one. Renewal 3, oh my god, so then he can constantly stay healed. Like, Jesus, man, he is a healing machine. But maybe change renewal, maybe change reposition to maybe like admit sacrifice or something like, or swap things so then like you can give him, you can make him a really good mage so then he can be all around. Not mage, but you can make him a prestudo healer. Make him a prestudo healer so then he can actually go around and like heal up his teammates uh, and basically because he'll recover it back anyway with Aether and renewal. He'll recover that no problem so he is a really good source of healing. So honestly, I say the only thing I would switch maybe give him admin sacrifice, admin sacrifice or Ritsuko aid because then that will give his enemy, his teammates more HP and he can regain that HP easily as fast. So yeah, he can be a really dangerous field. So you better watch. I better watch out for this guy in arena. Hopefully, if I ever see you in arena, holy crap, man! You really love this Roy. All right, thank you, M, for your Roy. Because I know from your thing, I said that you, that was your pride and joy. So I say thank you. Um, alright, next we got Flame. Thank you, Flame. I know you are really good at watching my... I know you like to watch my streams and I really thank you for that. And I see you're like in the middle of something supporting your Marissa. By the... Tell by the double A ranks. Uh, level 41. Level... I mean 40 plus 1. Uh, 40, 56 attack, 47 speed, 45 speed, 35 defense, 26 res. And uh, looks like you're still in the process. Wood out plus speed healing Ignis, Ignis, uh, Fury, Desperation three, and full three pulse panic boy two. Oh wow! And this is actually another monster right here. Man, I just imagine when he finally hits plus A S, then he'll get like the plus attack thing. And um, uh, honestly, I wouldn't really change anything much around here. Maybe change Ignis to Bonfire because from a tip that I learned from Dash is that you want to prop defenses like this already since her defense is already pretty high so I think bonfire would be a better option because then you can trigger it way quickly especially with desperation <coughs> especially with desperation because oh my god that is amazing oh and maybe like for the sacred seal give give her quicken pulse because with quicken pulse she can be like Charge up the bonfire way better, but Ignis is good too, but that has like a cooldown of 4. 
So Bonfire has a cooldown of 3, and since she's fast, she can prop Bonfire way easier, and it's always good for for units that have third defense and up. So overall, I, the only thing I would change about this Marissa, it's a really good Marissa, don't get me wrong, Flame. It's a really great. It's just the only thing I would change is change it to Bonfire. Because Dash taught me that like if you can give him Bonfire because it's a much better alternative and makes them like proc it easier since it less cooldown and less cooldown is always good. So overall keep up the good builds man, this is really good. I, I would definitely be careful around this person right here. Alright, thank you again, Flame. Na next we got Gabby the Raffle Sheep, who has a really cute profile picture by the way, Gabby. If you're watching this, I, I really like your profile picture, it's cute. It looks like really cute, I don't, I don't know, I know it's a Jenny, and I know you love Jenny a lot. And, or I can tell you obviously love Jenny, I mean, as you can tell, it looks like she's a plus attack, minus speed, which is great. Uh, you, she has 30... She has a uh, 37 attack, 37 HP, plus attack 47, minus speed 24, res defense 23, and res 36, and we gave her absorb with the raffle staff equipped. Raffle staff equipped, matriarch plus heavenly like close counter, vantage 3, attack point, and quick repose 3. So overall, you made her a freaking monster. She is a she is a really good healer to take on the battlefield because then she can actually hold her own. I mean, she'll still die from melee, really strong melee hits, but with mages, she can be like a monster in the field. Especially with Absorb, because then she can just easily heal up. She can easily heal up. Matriarch is also really good too. Uh, close counter, that means she kills the Takumi or her Christmas Sarja, because that's the only two people who have it. So, overall. Overall, in my opinion, this is a really great advantage 3, so then, like, mages who think they can take her out, like, with low HP, they'll get fucking destroyed, and with that absorb, she'll heal back her damage, which is nice, really nice. Attack ploy, which does her res, and they'll make her even weaker, so then she'll be survived. Yeah, this is a quick repulse 3, so then she can double when you attack her. Oh my gosh, like, this build is amazing, Gabby. Gibby. I I'm gonna call you Gibby the Raffle Sheep. Uh, I'm just gonna call you Gibby. But anyway, this Jenny is amazing. I mean, like, I, I for one got really pissed off when I got her Jenny because I was trying to go for Bri Cordelia. But overall, I believe this is a really great. I can see why you love her a lot. She's actually a really good healer, especially with, like, Raffle Staff. So she basically is like a mage that can heal. So overall, this is a great build. I love it. It's amazing, actually. Keep up the good builds, and I'll uh, see you next time. Thank you again, Gibby. Next, we got a relatively new guy from one of my uh, streams a long time ago during the giveaway stream. Uh, Hound plays, or as I like to know him, Hound. He's on Amino. And he looks like he really likes Corrin because uh, he actually took the time to build him. And he and already merged him plus one, so that's pretty good. Uh, HP 43, attack 48, speed 36, defense 27, and res 24. And with the, his weapon to skill, Rasuko, Aid, um, Dragon Fang, Defense plus 3, Quick Repost 1, and Threat Attack 1, and Fortify Defense there. So overall, the belt, I can tell this guy seriously needs some work. I mean, I'm not, I'm not offending you or anything, Hound, but I could, use, I could see some things that you can definitely change. Like, um, really, Rasuko, Aid, I think that only swaps HP, but like, um, I guess to quick up quick repost, I mean like okay, so what I would change uh wait give me a second <coughs> uh, okay anyway back to what I was saying uh anyway like for A skill I definitely might give him fury so then like his defense everything will be up his attack will go up by three so that would make him have like one two three like fifty one attack which is great high attack units are always good and I guess from what I can tell, you got a plus attack one. Guess you got a plus attack corn, which is great actually. That's one of his ideal IBs. And threat attack, you obviously still need to work on this. I mean, you still need to level it up more. Uh, quick repost is pretty good because he can like. I mean, I don't think he needs quick repost. He already has some decent speed, and he's not really that bulky. I should say. 
it's not really super bulky, so I say maybe give him like Desperation, since he is pretty fast. Desperation is always good on fast units. Desperation or like um, yeah, Desperation is a good B skill for him. Um, A, A would be like great for Fury, cause so then he can take more damage. Plus he has Rusuko A, so he can heal up any time. And with that, that would let him trigger Desperation easier. So. I Honestly, this build's good. My threat attack is really good too. You probably need to level that up all the way to three, but still. Um, for C, I don't know. Maybe give him like maybe like threat and defense. So then like units or threat and speed, threat and speed or threat and defense like uh, the that. So then like threat and speed, I think will work better. So then you have a more chance of doubling units. Especially with his really good speed, is coupled with like desperation, you do decide to do it. So overall, this guy is pretty good. He has really great potential. Just the things I would change would always be his A skill, which would be changing to maybe like Fury Three, which is good because then that would give him the defense plus three plus three more and everything else. So that would make him like that would make him have like 39 speed, which is like amazing, which will make him fast. Desperation will be a really good skill to give, and uh, maybe Thren. Thren defense or speed is good, but I'm, most, I'm leaning more towards Thren speed and C. Her, uh, you can probably give him quick reposition with this one right here as the as the sacred seal. So honestly, you can just get rid of this because now that there's a seal, quick repost it. It doesn't matter. So yeah, B. Give him desperation. A fury. C. The uh, threaten defense or or speed and uh. Maybe quick repose or depending on what you like and yeah this corn will be like a monster in the build actually this will be really good so thank you again hound for sending me your corn I'll see you in the next one um hopefully you have some good, good more units to use alright next we got we only have like one two three four five we got five people left and uh we got next up is Jordan from Amino who sent in his recruit who um. Honestly, I w when I first saw him, I thought he was going to be cool, but then they gave him Brakut's Lance. I mean, like, why would he has a Lance? He has his own special Lance. Like, why did they have to give him Brakut's Lance? Like, did they not want to spoil the game? Because, I don't know. But anyway, Brakut here, he's uh, obviously a Grand Hero Battle, so all his stats are neutral, which is 43 HP, 42 attack, uh, 17 speed, 31 defense and 24 res and uh, I see you gave him brave lance uh, reposition ignis death blow 3 desperation desperation threat defense 3 and fresh assault 3 and um I I see a lot of problems with this though. I mean don't get mad and all but I mean like uh, why did you give him desperation if he only has like 17 speed like that's not good. He's not gonna double anything. He's basically he's basically has the speed of an armored unit, of uh, one of the earlier armor units. So um, I don't think I think you shouldn't use Desperation three on this guy because this he has really pitiful speed. I mean I know you think it will be a good idea to work with Brave Lance, but remember you gotta also double, if you wanted a quad and you have to have way more speed than the enemy. So honestly, the only thing you'll be able to quad is probably maybe armor units or like some really low level ones. I mean like. Honestly, yeah, that is uh, one major thing I would definitely change. Don't give him desperation. Give him like I don't know, like be a good B skill. Uh, let me think. Um, I don't know if you really want to use him for like uh like thing. Maybe give him a breaker skill. So then like he has a better chance of doubling because he can quad with that. But um, death blow three. Uh, that's pretty good actually for him because then that just ends in his attack. And uh, Ignis, um, I don't know about this really, like he does, Ignis is pretty good but like it doesn't end that much damage since his is 31, maybe give him Bonfire since he already has low speed, um, make it something so then like he can proc Bonfire way quicker if he want to. Yeah, uh, Threaten Defense, uh, I g that would work out for him cause then like that would like definitely make him be able to attack more because his attack is not that high. And Brash Assault 3, uh, that's only when he's like low health and uh, he makes a guaranteed follow up. So I see what you're trying to do here though. You're trying to use the Brash Assault Desperation 3 combo, but um, I'm, I'm gonna have to say, Jordan, it, I don't think it works. 
Like, I don't think this works. I mean, I'm not dissing you or anything, but it's just that Desperation 3 on a 17 speed recruit. That is actually not a... Not good, because he literally cannot... He can barely double anybody. Other sword units, like, he can't even double sword units. Sword units are gonna defeat him. Like, badly. And also, magic is gonna beat him badly, because they can double. Mages are known to be fast, too, so... Yeah, in retrospective, I don't think Desperation is a good skill. Definitely change it to a, a Breaker skill, or maybe Vantage. Because then with Vantage, you'll be able to strike first before he fucking dies, so... Thren, defense, that's good. Brash Assault, I don't know, like, maybe, uh, give him Quick Repost. Quick Repost is good. Give him the Quick Repost Sacred Seal, so then, like, he can double whenever he's attacked. Because he has some pretty decent defense. And some not that great res, but it's pretty decent, so he can, like, probably, like, tank some stuff. But, honestly, he's gonna get doubled the hell out of it all the time. I mean, look at this 17 speed. Like, honestly... Like, Desperation 3 does not work really well for him. So yeah, that... So yeah, I'm sorry, Jordan. It's a... This this has really good potential. But it's just that maybe change this B skill to not be Desperation. Because, uh, this does not work out with 17 speed. Because you give Desperation to high speed units. And he's not a high speed unit, really. Honestly, I don't know what he is. I don't know why they made him. Like, is he like... What's he supposed to be? Like, a tank of something? Or is he just there? Anyway, thank you for sending me your Brakud. Um, obviously, listen and change some of the skills. Like, change the Ignis to Bonfire and change. Uh, don't give him Desperation because he doesn't have the speed for it. And that is all. Uh, thank you for sending me in. Alright, we see. It's already freaking 30 minutes and we have 35 minutes, so we gotta hurry up. Alright, next we got Oben and his Shana. And uh, right at the bat, this looks like really good. It's just that for me, I hate her character. Honestly, do not like her, her, her like the character. A, a little part of me is probably still salty about her, her winning against the Kumi. Cause I mean, I was there during the whole live stream, and like, it was. I think it was bullshit. Like honestly, like why did she win? Like why is she? She's not like um. She's not really that big of a character. Takumi's like a popular character. I mean, have you seen all the memes of him? But then Shauna won. And I was really surprised. I freaking, like, was super surprised that she won. I guess memes win day, I guess. Anyway, right off the bat, uh, you, you're just, you're gonna make her probably plus 10, 46 HP, 52 attack, 49 speed, 22 defense, and 27 res, and slain lance plus, okay, reposition, aether, life and death, 3 desperation, hone flyers, and heavy blade 3. And right off the bat, this is actually, I may not like her as a character, but I like this build. I really like what you're doing here, like, Reposition, nice, that's always good. Aether, pretty good, especially coupled with Heavy Blade because then like she has like massive attack and plus she can always heal. Um uh, Life and Death 3 is pretty good. This makes her defense and res shit, but like I mean her speed, she reaches 50 speed. She basically reaches like Baruka's level of defense, but with speed instead. So she will definitely double, no matter what. She would definitely double. Unless you're fighting, and she's only plus two merge. Just imagine when you merge her more, that speed is gonna go up way more. So yeah, this is a really insane one. And Hone Flyers, oh my god, she would be even freaking faster. Like holy shit, she would be like quick as fucking hell. And all honestly, look that like plus the six, nine, two, three, four, five, six, like fifty-five speed. That is a lot. She will definitely double for sure, no matter what. And then Heavy Blade, that would definitely activate Aether. And then, oh my god, this... This Shauna is freaking scary. She is really scary right now, actually. I mean, like, I think Baruka can actually still withstand her. But just probably not a lot. But, like, she probably is gonna be a real monster to fight. But, oh my god, she is amazing. May not like her as a character. It is not as amazing, but uh, thanks again, Oben, for sending me in your Shana. It's a really amazing build. I I can't wait to see what more builds you can show me, um, because it looks like you know a thing or two about building. So thank you. Next we have Orboro, which is another unit that I'm not really a big fan of, but um, I can see why people like her. And uh, basically, you said from your posting that this is basically like your Lucas, since you don't have one. And right off the bat, you really love her. I mean, summoner support. Uh, uh, 40, 40 plus 3. HP 48. Attack 46. 29 speed. 47 defense. And 31 res. Slain, X plus, Slain Lance plus. Rally 
defense slash res ignis fortress defense 3 lance breaker 3 to end defense and quick repose 3 so right off the bat she is like uh, gonna be uh she is a real huge tank she's basically a Baruka level tank and that's amazing and plus coupled with the slay lance plus which increases the cooldown of stuff I mean, decreased cooldown is pretty good. Honestly, this build is nice, actually. Nice build. 47 defense. She is a fucking wall. P coupled with a uh, quick repost 3, so she basically can attack back. Especially. I mean, the one thing I would change, reposition. Remember, guys, reposition is always good. Rally skills, I don't know why those exist in the game. I mean, like, I know they're good and all, but, like, I think using uh, reposition is way better because it has more usability than rally. And threaten the fence to make her attack more. Oh yeah, that is good. And she has decent speed and decent res, so she can probably survive some magic and not get doubled as much. Uh, Lance Breaker 3, yeah, she she can defeat Lance units. That means Oscar, uh, a bunch of other Lance units can probably have a hard time taking her out. Threaten the fence will make it even better, so then she has a higher chance of attacking. And better chances. Quick Repose 3, amazing. So... Oboro, Oboro, your Oboro is freaking amazing. I mean, I'm probably never gonna build one ever, cause I just don't. I already have my waifu Baruka, who's my tank already, so I don't really have any use for more. But uh, honestly, this is a really good Oboro here. I'm, I'm, I really like your dedication to her, and I hope I see more builds from you in the next videos co to come. So thank you for sending me in your Oboro. It's really nice. Thank you. All right, next we have the big. The big person on campus, um, Ruby, who's actually a curator on Amino, and uh, she's actually pretty cool. I mean, I talked to her; she's really nice. He or she is nice. I'm not. Sh um, I'm sorry if I'm assuming genders, but like, I honestly don't know. I'm pretty sure you're a girl, so I'm just gonna go with she. I'm sorry about that, but like, you're a she, so I guess. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I gotta stop. Okay. Anyway, uh, you sent me your summer tiki, which is great. I mean, I gotta give you a good one. Like, alright. 41. Oh man, you lucky. You got another one. I only got one. And it was like, uh, it was like pretty hard. I, I, I'll probably explain to it in a 5 star story time video in the future. Anyway, uh, 41 HP, 50 attack, uh, speed 27, defense 40, and, um, res 24. So, what I believe you got a plus, you got a plus defense minus. Then you got a plus speed minus something, I don't know. You gave her handle instead of her watermelon, reposition bonfire, close defense 3, quick repose 2, threaten defense 3, and close defense 3. Oh man, yeah, you made her a serious tank, so 6 plus 6 is like 12. That's like 52 defense on enemy phase, which is great. And handbell, that's also really good too, so reposition, nice, nice. You're one of those people that automatically put reposition, which is great. Quick repost, so then her speed is not that great, but she'll be able to double, especially when you attack her. Bonfire, low cooldown, plus coupled with her really high defense will be amazing. This is... And uh, threaten defense 3, yeah, give her more better for her attack. Oh my god, yeah, this... I, I mean, one thing I would might change, maybe, maybe threaten threaten attack so then like she'll have even better survival ability especially with physical units so then she can barely die but like overall this build this summer tiki is amazing I'm like holy shit those melons must be some really tough melons right there <laughs> anyway yeah thank you ruby for sending me in your tiki this is an amazing tiki by the way i have my own but i haven't really built her as much I honestly i haven't built a lot of units really i got in them and they're just cluttering up my room in there but overall, again, thank you for sending me this, Tiki. It's great. I hope to see more of you. And uh, also, uh, thank you for being such a great person on Amino. Uh, I really appreciate how nice you are. And uh, yeah, I'll see you around. Thank you for sending me your Tiki. And last but not least, we have Zeon. And he or she has sent me their Corrin. And I can see you really like female Corrin because you ha you're going to make her like a plus 10. I'm, I'm currently working on a Corrin myself but i'm gonna make it a plus 10 four star and i already given her like light and breath plus so you are i'm already gonna make her four star so four plus 40 plus six uh 49 hp 51 attack 39 speed 39 defense and 23 res 
Lightning Breast Plus with the Attack, Reposition, Moonbow. Fury 3, Renewal 3, Infiltry Pulse 3, and Distant Defense 3. Okay. So, um, I really wouldn't change much, but maybe instead of Moonbow, uh, maybe give her, like, I don't know, like Bonfire, because her defense is, like, really high. So, Bonfire or Ignis would work really well for her, like, extremely well, especially with Infiltry Pulse, because you'll be able to charge it up way faster. A couple with Distant Defense, which is always good, and honestly. Honestly, this build is amazing right here. This is a really solid build. I like it. The one thing I would definitely change, maybe give her Bonfire or Ignis. Because Moonbow really depends on how much defense the enemy has. So if they have like... I don't know how it works, but it really it's situational. But with like Bonfire, you'll have more guarantee. Especially since you'll be able to attack back. So I say give her... Yeah, give her Bonfire or Ignis. Because that will be good. Especially with her 39 defense. That is amazing defense there. She would make bonfire work wonders and she's pretty fast too so that's also a really good thing maybe give her like I don't know like uh, desperation desperation is always good on people on fast units so honestly uh, th two things I would change uh, moonbow change it to either bonfire or ignis and B maybe change it to desperation 3 so then like so then like whenever she gets in that lower threshold she can still hit hard and fast at the same time without interruption couple of infantry pulse she'll be able to sh start up everything already so overall this is an amazing corn build I really like how you built this core and this is amazing I, I can't wait to see it when it turns into 10 because you're like literally like about four away from making it a plus 10 five star and overall this is an amazing core I love it just uh, remember to keep in mind of my changes and that's good and uh, again thank you Xeon for your Corin. I really appreciate it um Looks like that's going to be the end of our video today, guys. I want to say thank you guys for watching. Uh, please like and leave a like and a subscribe for me. And listen, tell me in the comments below if you want to have Dash back on these types of video too. And um, tell me if you if your unit made it into this video. So uh, honestly, uh, thank you for watching. I want to say a big special thank you to all the people in Amino for sending me these builds. Really kind of you. I mean, my... Honestly, you went out of your way just to send me builds so you can have them on my channel, which is great. Um, links to your aminos will be in the description below. So don't worry about not being credited. I mean, like, obviously, I'm also going to make it on amino, obviously. So um, your amino links will be there. My link to my own amino will also be in the description below. And uh, my Discord link will be there. My Discord link will be down there too, so if you ever want to have a chat, and you can also send me builds through either Amino or Discord, I'll accept both. And um, make sure to also subscribe and hit that bell notification so then you're notified of whenever I make some new videos and maybe whenever you can be ready for the next unit build video. Because, me remember guys, this unit build series is going to be going on a weekly basis. This is one, one time a week. And honestly, I have a lot of fun doing this. It's really fun talking about builds and stuff, honestly. So, thanks again for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time. See you. In, I hope to see you around in more videos. Uh, thank you for thank you for all the support in Amino. And uh, with that being said, Baruka Squad dismissed. <laughs>